Well, jumpings, man, that's not an airplane. <laughs> For my uh, regular viewers, um, I'm normally flying airplanes, not shooting guns. But I do shoot guns too, and it's fun. So I'm here at the range, and I thought I would do a bit of gun shooting. And what I'm going to be shooting is some 22 through my AR-15. So this is the CMMG 22 conversion kit. And it's pretty neat, but it's not perfect. Um, and I'm going to explain why it's not perfect here in just a second. But how about we go ahead and install it in the AR-15 first. So first up, we remove the takedown pin from the back here. And mine is um, quite tight. Once the takedown pin is removed, you can open up the action. You open pull the charging handle, slide out the 223 or 556 bolt and set that aside. And that's not the bolt, that's the bolt carrier group, that's everything. You can then put your charging handle back in and the CMMG 22 kit just slides right on in. Now, for those of you not fully aware, this is simply a 22 action, um, just kind of set up on this rail here. There's the recoil spring on the back and the chamber is is in there and as you can see there is a fake 556 five, round on the end of it and that fits the chamber uh, and of course the 556 five, is the same close enough to the same caliber diameter as a 22 long rifle so you can just uh, slide that right in and shoot your your 22s through it now so that's how you install the CMMG 22 conversion kit now here's the thing a lot of the complaints with the 22 conversion kit is that they will be a little sloppy in here. They'll kind of jiggle back and forth a little bit. And so I had a guy from Boar Buddy send me an AR buffer pressure plug. This is from BoarBuddy.com. And what you do, let me, let me go ahead and install it for you now that I've closed everything up. That's what it looks like there. And that just slides directly into the buffer tube back here and it puts a little bit of pressure on the back of the conversion kit and it forces that fake cartridge up into the chamber completely and what it does is it supposedly gives you better accuracy hear that it kind of wiggled you can hear it slop there's some slop there so let's let's take that out and put this in and uh, see if that slop goes away here you take the pressure plug and you line that slot up with the takedown or with the retaining pin there. Just slide that in and rotate it until it lines up with this slot here. There we go. And now it will just stay right there. When I close this, that's going to put pressure on the back of the CMMG kit. See how it moves? You can really see it now. It keeps that pushed all the way forward. Without this in place, because of that retaining pin that's there, the, the buffer tube that's in there and spring and, and whatever doesn't actually come into contact with that. So this allows it, there's a little bit of extra distance there, it allows it to come into contact and keeps it tight in the chamber. There, so there it is installed. Yeah, see that? Tight now. Now, the other thing that the CMMG kit does um, is well it is some blowback will come oh here here I'm moving the whole thing there I gotta take it apart again so on the top is where the charging handle would normally be there's there's nothing stopping when this recoils back from hot gases coming up here traveling along the length of the the charging handle tube there and a little bit of gas will come out and it'll sting your face every now and then it's not the end of the world but you definitely want shooting glasses on you'd have them on anyway um, but it, it's it's mildly irritating so the other thing that they came up with at boarbuddy.com is this now this is a 3d printed version they're going to have actual plastic mold injection um, versions of this but it's a little plug that goes into your charging handle She's dirty. Um, you just slide that into your charging handle, and now, whenever you shoot, the gases don't come back and hit you in the face. They stay trapped in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together again, and we're going to shoot it and see if I get any gases in the face. There. So everything is installed that I got from BoraBuddy.com. So let's put some ammo in it 
and uh, shoot away. I don't have any target set up, but I do have some cool steel gongs down there. So I should be able to hit them. They're like, I don't know, 50 yards. I don't know, I can't count, something like that. Probably 50 yards. So we'll shoot them and uh, and we'll go we'll go from there. Let me go load up some some bullets into the magazines. Now I've got probably dumps thousands. I couldn't tell you how many thousands, but thousands and thousands of 22 ammo um, through this CMMG kit, through this AR-15. And I can tell you, uh, I usually put like 25-ish rounds in here. Every mag, I would get at least three to five little burns that I would feel from from the, the blowback there. So I'm going to go ahead. This is the first time I shot this. I haven't done this off camera first. This is my first time doing this. I'm going to load this up and we're going to shoot a whole mag and then we're going to shoot another whole mag and we're going to see how many times I feel any unburnt powder or gases on my face. There we go. Everything's all squared away here. Let's see what happens. Dud. Oh, no, misfeed. There we go. Try that again. Get the old forward assist going. Nope. There we go. I think I may have put one too many rounds in the mag. Sometimes if you overload them, first couple of times it doesn't work out great. Didn't feel anything on the face. Let's try that again. Got another mag. Oh. It is a downside to shooting low quality ammo. Duds. No burns. I like it. I don't know what else to say about that except um, if you have a CMMG kit for your AR-15, you should totally get the Bore Buddy uh, pressure plug and the Bore Buddy, I wrote notes down, charging handle insert. It's called a charging handle insert. I don't know, it, it does what it says it does. That's all that really matters, I guess. Uh, apparently, if you put M Matt in the coupon box, so if you go and order it on borebuddy.com, you get a discount of some sort. I can't remember what it is, but irregardlessly, I like it. I'm going to keep it in my AR-15 whenever I'm shooting the uh, the 22 conversion kit and uh, stop the old powder burns from hitting the face. So anyway, let's uh, clear the uh, the lead out of the rifling from the 22s. And uh, the funnest way to do that is to get some 5.56 and pop it through. So I'm not going to shoot the steel for that. We're not allowed to shoot 5.56 at the steel. I'll just shoot the berm. So up here in Canada, we have magazine capacity restrictions. And what that means is if you have a magazine for a semi-automatic center fire rifle, it is limited to five rounds. If you have a magazine for a semi-automatic pistol, it's limited to 10 rounds. So for the old AR-15 here, we're stuck with five rounds, except that there's a pistol variant of the AR-15. And if you can manage to get your hands on some pistol magazines for the AR-15 then you can have 10 rounds and as a Canadian that's double and I'm excited and all of my American listeners are gonna say boo that sucks you should be able to have full capacity and I agree with you hundred percent we take two 10 round pistol mags and we connect them back to back and let me show you how she works Remember, don't shoot the steel. <laughs> I 
so you can still have some fun with it. Anyway, that's the best way I've discovered for cleaning out the, uh, the lead into the rifling from the, the unjacketed 22 rimfire. Um, and it's a heck of a lot of fun too. Anyway, borebuddy.com for your pressure plug insert and your charging handle insert. It'll make shooting the CMMG 22 conversion kit a whole lot more fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.